Once in royalty, David City stood all lonely cattle shed, where a mother laid her baby in a manger for a bed. Mary was that mother. This Advent season, it is our delight to prepare ourselves to hear once again the message of the angels. 
in heart and mind to go even to Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from our first days to the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. And let us make this sanctuary and our sanctuaries at home glad with our carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of God's whole world, for peace and justice all over the earth, for unity within the church Christ came to build, for this country, for this community of Kent, and for our own lives. And because this of all things would rejoice God's heart, let us at this time remember in Jesus' name the poor and the marginalized, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick in body and in mind, and those that mourn, the lonely and the desperate, the elderly and the little children, all who do not know the Lord Jesus or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude when no one can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom in this Lord Jesus we are one forevermore. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
A reading from the book of Genesis. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among all the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked. And I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman who you gave me to be with, she gave me the fruit, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals, all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put amenity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and he will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. To the woman he said, I will greatly increase your pangs in childbearing. And in, in pain you shall bring forth children. Yet your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. And to the man he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten from the tree of which I commanded you, you shall not eat. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you, sh in toil, in toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread until you return to, to the ground. For out of it you were taken, You're, you are dust, and dust you shall return. Here ends the reading from God's word. Thanks be to God who is still speaking. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 22, verses 15 through 18. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you, and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of their enemies, and by your offspring shall all the nations of the earth gain blessing for themselves, because you have obeyed my voice. Here ends the reading from God's word. Thanks be to God who is still speaking.
A reading from the book of Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Here ends the reading from God's word. Thanks be to God, who is still speaking. A reading from the book of Isaiah. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His del delight shall be in the fear of the Lord, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equality equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the faulting together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together. The lion shall eat straw like the ox, the nursing children shall play over the hole of the asp, 
and the weaned ch child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Here ends the reading from God's word. Thanks be to God who is still speaking. reading from the Gospel of Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But Mary was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Here ends the reading from God's word. Thanks be to God, who is still speaking.
A reading from the Gospel of Luke. In those days, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Here ends the reading from God's word. Thanks be to God who is still speaking. Mary had a baby, my Lord. Mary had a baby, my Lord. Mary had a baby, Mary had a baby, Mary had a baby, my Lord. What did she name? A reading from the Gospel of Luke. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth, Peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. 
When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. Here ends the reading from God's word. Thanks be to God, who is still speaking.
A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. Here ends the reading from God's word. Thanks be to God, who is still speaking. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, 
and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, or of the will of humanity, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a parent's only son, full of grace and truth. Here ends the reading from God's word. Thanks be to God who is still speaking.
please join me now in our collect and blessing. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O oh God, who makes us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of your only Son, Jesus Christ, grant that as we joyfully receive him for our Redeemer, so we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our judge, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, grant you the fullness of inward peace and goodwill and make you partakers of the divine nature and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Mother of us all, be upon you and remain with you always. 